Uh, hi! We are going to talk today about Tech Talk. This is a new application that provides SNMP access to devices, allowing you to uh, monitor a system remotely and let you check the health and the status of the different components over time. Uh, what you see here is the first page of the application. As you can see, there are different tabs to the application. The first one is Setup, where you provide your information of which system you want to monitor or detect. Uh, the next one is System, where you actually see details about the system you've just discovered or connected to. The third one is Connection, where you see all the different connections in and out to your system the uh, next one is disk memory where you see all of your disk file system memories and the last one is other where you can see actually all of your other elements in your system or elements connected to your system such as printers mem uh, processors etc now next thing we're going to do is discover so what we need to provide is the IP address of the system, in this case 192.168.56.4, the port, which is the SMMP port, by default 161, <coughs> the password, which is also called the SMMP read community, in our case it's public, which is the default. Uh, next one is an interesting one, it's actually the alarm threshold for when you want to actually get alarm or alerted when the disk is running out of space so usually people will put it 80% I just put it 55 or whatever 44% just for testing um, because my disk uh, right now is not that full and the last one is actually the ability to continuously monitor or call the system remotely where you can actually check this box and then the, the application tech talk system monitor will actually do what the name says to actually monitor the health of all of those components we just talked about over time and these are the intervals over time on which the system will invoke those monitoring requests and right now it's one minute you can change it to anything else you want now let's go ahead and click discover it's pretty much it for the first page the system goes now and tries to discover the target device we specified here, this IP address. As we can see, some of the tabs were highlighted. We'll talk about those two highlights later on. But let's go to the first tab and see our system that was discovered right now. So as we can see, there's one system, single system, that's the IP address. When we go ahead and click on this line, we'll actually get some details about the system. As you can see, there's the description of the system. Here you can actually see that this is obviously a Windows um, environment. This is the system object ID. Uh, this is how long the system is up and running. And as you can see, June 8, not too long. System contact, system name, location, and the status, actually the discovery status, which is OK. Let's close this tab and go to the next one. Next one, you can actually see all the connections going in and out system. And you can also see that the connection tab is highlighted. The reason it is highlighted is because one of the connections is disconnected or faulty. Let's click on it, the red one here, and see what's going on. So we see that there's a wireless connection right now which is disconnected, makes sense. Um, let's go ahead and close this tab. Uh, we can basically click on each, on a, each and every item here to see the description and the inf and further information about the element. Let's go to the next one which is the disk memory tab, click on it. And as we can see this one was highlighted as well, that's because our disk that we just discovered ran out of space according to our threshold. So our threshold is 44% and the disk is running 88%. So we're going to alarm. By the way, I can get rid of this specific alarm or any other alarm for that matter if I want. All that I have to do is click on the checkbox and 
uncheck it. When I close it, you'll see that the red color disappeared. And if we, if we ever go out and back into this tab, the color on this disk memory tab will also disappear. Now, I can always click on the item again and decide to re-engage in alert for this element. Then I'll get the red line back again. Notice that if I go to a different one which doesn't have alert, it doesn't matter, matter how many times I'm checking the box or unchecking it, obviously it will not have a red line. Now, the last item or the last tab on the list here is other. And these are pretty much all the either physical or logical components on the system which are exposed via SNMP. You can see that there's a bunch of printers here, uh, some processors. These are the actual processors of the operating system. These are two Intel processors, I believe. Uh, some specific drivers installed on the system, like keyboards, for example, in here. It's an IBM hardware. And we can actually go over the different elements and see this is, for example, a printer, HP Jet, as you can see. Uh, that's pretty much it for the initial demonstration of the application. Next thing we're going to do, we're going to see is after the initial phase of discovery that we just talked about now, what are, what is the allocate abilities of features of Tech Talk System Monitor?